There are different types of circuit breaker that we know like SF6 circuit breaker, vacuum circuit breaker, air blast circuit breaker and many more. And when we talk about high and extra high voltage circuit breaker, we also see live tank and dead tank circuit breakers. In this video, I'll give you a practical comparison of live tank and dead tank circuit breakers. And to get that, you need to watch the video. Now look at the circuit breaker as shown on the screen. For better understanding, I am only showing a single phase of the three phase circuit breaker. The top part of the circuit breaker consists of the interrupter. Inside the top insulator, fixed and moving main and arcing contacts are there. Now the insulator can be made up of porcelain or silicon composite material. And to the interrupter part, we connect the incoming and outgoing supply. And as a result, the interrupter part is at a high potential or we can also say it is at live potential. And hence, such type of breakers are called as live tank circuit breakers. Now focus on the circuit breaker shown. Again, it is a single phase out of three phases. Here the interrupter is not in the top section of the circuit breaker. Interrupter of this circuit breaker is placed inside the bottom metal housing which is completely grounded or it is not at a life potential or it is at a dead potential. And hence such type of circuit breakers are called as a dead tank type circuit breakers. The tank is completely filled with dielectric medium like SF6 gas which completely insulates the life contacts from the metal tank. To connect the incoming and outgoing outdoor bushings are used. So this is a dead tank type circuit breaker. Let's now see the proper definition of the live and dead tank circuit breaker. A live tank circuit breaker is defined as a switching device in which the vessels containing the interrupter is at a potential above the ground. On the other hand, a dead tank circuit breaker is defined as a switching device in which a vessel containing the interrupter is at a ground potential completely surrounded by the interrupting medium. By the way, if you are a beginner or you have just started working in a substation, then you can check out my basic course on substation using the link given in the description or simply you can visit courses.theelectricalguide.in. Log in on the website or on the mobile apps to join the easiest courses on electrical engineering. So we have seen one of the major differences between the live tank and the tank circuit breaker. The question is, what is the benefit of having interrupter in a completely grounded metal housing? Is there any issue keeping the interrupter on life potential? Well, there is no issue in keeping the interrupter on life potential. The choice between the live tank and dead tank circuit breaker depends upon the requirements. Now, Having the interrupter at dead or ground potential offers certain advantages. Like since the complete part in which the interrupter is placed is insulated by dielectric medium like SF6 gas, space required for dead tank circuit breaker is less compared to the live tank circuit breaker. You can see on the right hand side a 145kV dead tank circuit breaker and on the left hand side a 145kV live tank circuit breaker. Almost. 20 to 30 percent less space is required for dead tank circuit breaker if we compared with the similar rating of the live tank design. If you are finding the video helpful then do click on the like button. Let's see if we can get 1000 likes on this video. Design of the dead tank circuit breaker allows a current transformer to be installed inside the bushing. It is called as a bushing current transformer. It can be installed in both line and load side bushings. Disconnector and earth switch can also be combined along with the dead tank circuit breaker. You can see it on your screen. Now this facility is not available with the live tank breaker design. You need to have separate current transformer and a separate disconnector and earthing switch. Now dead tank circuit breakers have less joints than the live tank circuit breaker. We can also understand that by looking at the images. And as a result, dead tank circuit breaker offers better performance in area where earthquakes are frequent. 
in technical terms it is called as better seismic performance now live tank breakers also performs well in different seismic accelerations but if we compare it with the dead tank circuit breaker then dead tank breakers score more in the seismic performance dead tank circuit breaker come completely assembled from the factory and they do not need any major assemblies at site whereas a live tank circuit breaker does not come fully assembled at site major assemblies are required to be done at site to install the circuit breaker since the interrupter unit is completely secured in the metal encapsulated tank in case of dead tank circuit breaker and also their seismic performance is better dead tank circuit breakers are more reliable than the live tank breakers now it is important to note that in dead tank circuit breaker the quantity of dielectric required is more than the live tank breaker if sf6 gas is used as a dielectric medium then a dead tank breaker would need more gas than the live tank breaker and sf6 gas is also one of the greenhouse gases so in case of leakage dead tank circuit breaker would be causing more damage to the environment than the live tank breaker we discussed many advantages of dead tank circuit breaker like it is compact it is more reliable bushing current transformer can be fitted in the bushings of the circuit breaker and many more but all of this comes with additional cost and as a result the dead tank circuit breaker is more expensive than the live tank circuit breaker now in the previous video we discussed about the gas insulated switch gear or gis let me know in the comment section below in gis technology which type of circuit breaker are used dead tank type or live tank type if you found the video helpful then click on the like button let's see if we can get 1000 likes on this video and let me know using comment section if the video was helpful that's all for this video guys i'll see you in my next one but till then keep watching keep learning